Greetings and welcome back to another episode of Itadaki Mas. I'm Chad. I'm Justin. And this week, we're trying chocolates. Japanese chocolates. Japanese chocolates. We think they're Japanese. Uh, we hope so, anyway. So this first one is could... looking kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> so it is rocks. Rock. <laughs> chocolate flavored rocks. Rockin' chocolate. Something Specifically, like that. <laughs> rock and chocolate. So they, they look, look like rocks. They look like little rocks. Pretty cool. I don't know. I'm gonna try to put this Not up to the spilling. camera without spilling it for the dogs. Oh, That's why you're doing it, not me. All right. So I don't know if they, one here. if they have a flavor um, on the outside or if that's just food coloring, but they're all colored different. Yeah. They look just like rocks. Wow. They smell like. They smell like chocolate. Cheap chocolate. Very cheap chocolate. I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> cheap chocolate. Cheap milk chocolate. And they don't. They're not M and M's because they kind of already feel sticky in my hand. So. Yeah. So we got these because they look like rocks. We like those rocks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we've never seen chocolate rocks before. No. So. Pretty unique little well, looking chocolate thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, we'll see. Itadakimasu. <laughs> Tastes like M and M's. Uh, the consist the texture is like M and M's. It's like chocolate with a candy shell. It's very cheap tasting chocolate though, yeah. and it doesn't taste like M and M chocolate to me. It tastes really. It almost has some weird flavor to it. But if I had to pin down a chocolate flavor, I would say hot chocolate, like hot chocolate powder. That's what it tastes like. I think you have a more sophisticated palate <laughs> than I do. I popped it. I was like, hmm. Yep. Tastes like kind of stale M and M's. <laughs> Yeah, really, um, really strong, strong chocolate, um, like, uh, what am I looking for? Consistency, like chocolate powder consistency. Yeah. You know, kind of grainy. Yeah, kind of grainy. And, uh, I mean, you can't hate chocolate that much, right? Uh, you're weird, you probably hate chocolate. I don't hate chocolate, <laughs> but I like, like, a strong, bitter chocolate, mm -hmm. like, yeah, a little dark chocolate. This is the opposite of that. This Spartacus is Spartacus agrees with me. <laughs> very, very sweet chocolate. Um, yeah. Sweet, cheap chocolate. This is candy for like a yeah. It tastes year like old. Valentine's or Easter or Halloween. That's what it tastes like. I don't know what kind of cheap chocolate you buy for Valentine's. You need a good dive for that stuff. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, do you like this thing that we beat in these chocolate rocks? <sighs> I, <laughs> that doesn't sound great. <laughs> I have to give it a man. It's chocolate and maybe I'm just not in the mood for it. If I really was like craving something sweet, they'd be fine because it's just like you said. It's like eating a bowl of M&M's that's been sitting there for a month because nobody mm. wants to eat M&M's really. So, yeah. So, so. Yeah, M &Ms. If you like M&M's, then you might as well eat chocolate rocks <laughs> instead of supporting the Hershey Empire. They probably own this too. <laughs> they probably do. We didn't look. But no, who are we kidding? <laughs> Yeah, so I'm not going to give this one a thumbs up. I'm also going to go with the meh. Mm. Yeah. If and I was starving in the desert, I might eat some of these. <laughs> or drink it because it'd be so hot. Yeah. But they're not great. And I wouldn't really recommend them. Unless you love M&M's and you want to try rocks instead of M&M's. It's an, obviously the novelty the aspect. Ones. They're rocks, <laughs> right? Kind of funny. Yeah, so there's that. All right, item number two. We have these, these cute little bitty things. <laughs> it's like Venus Angelic right there. <laughs> these look like the cutest little chocolates you could ever devour. Yeah, I think little pandas and rabbits. So they're individually packaged. Ba -dam. Ah. I don't know if there's more than one in a pack or not. I'm gonna say no. It feels like a one. One deal. So obviously from the picture, if you look closely, you'll be able to see, I don't know, we didn't take a picture of the back. It's a very detailed list of <laughs> how this thing is laid out. Like there's a chocolate sauce in the middle with some kind of fluffy chocolate stuff around that and like a chocolate cookie on the outside or something. Like that. They're very proud of their snack. But very cool looking package. I mean, this is pretty cute. Jeteau au chocolat. Saku Saku Panda. <laughs> I don't know, I have no panda plus dog looking thing, loggy. Hmm. This is cool. And on so, the back it says Kabaya, Times, Earth, Music, and Ecology. It makes total sense. So I mean, that's what I was know, thinking. We right. know we're talking about the real deal here. <laughs> we're talking about music and ecology. Oh, what oh, the wow. heck? So I didn't get the same faces on the you package. You got like a grumpy panda. That's false advertising. So here's the panda. I got it. You can see him. 
Oh, so cry, baby! Oh, you're there. so happy. I got the happy one. So, already immediately melting in my hands. Yeah, Ooh, now wow, this smells... Melty fat. But this smells fantastic. This does not smell like cheap chocolate. Yeah, it smells it's pretty very good. rich and very yummy. So before I get this all over my face and all over the place, <laughs> eat, eat the hockey balls. balls. <laughs> mm. Delectable. Pretty good. <laughs> wow, yeah. That's some quality snacks right there. I feel so sophisticated eating my super chocolate treat pandas. Eat your heart out, Godiva. Right. We got the real stuff. I'm gonna say that was awesome. Yeah, this feels like it's supposed to be like a gift box. Mm -hmm. You're like, I went to Japan and I brought you back these chocolates. Eight pieces of ultra cute chocolate mm -hmm. that probably melted in the cargo hold. Yeah. And it wasn't expensive. Not really. So, a good deal, I would say. I think these are awesome. There's a lot of different consistencies when you're eating that because it's got mm -hmm. a cracker. A real fluffy kind of chocolate and then just normal like a um, Hershey's bar chocolate all in one bite. Um, yep, that's like a triple attack. A little bigger than I thought it was going to be, but it does not taste like cheap chocolate. It's actually very good. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. Really smooth, a mixture of sweet and bitter chocolate in there. Yeah, so I like it. I would recommend it because uh, it tastes good. Why not recommend it? Really? Yeah, absolutely. Um, as far as the cheaper chocolates you can buy in Japan, I've tried lots of them because I'm like a little kid and I like sweet stuff. And it's got to have a sugar. This is a new one for me. This is very cool. Very good one. I like it. So. Yeah, it was a good one. I would be dissuaded uh, for buying this because I'm a boy, but if you're a girl in Japan... It's such a cute little thing. Very cute. Yeah, so for number three, sticking with the theme of fancy chocolates. <laughs> fancy, fancy. Yeah, we've got some dessert potato chips. Mm -hmm. So says the title. So it looks like chocolate nuts on a oh potato-y cracker. Uh, and that's exactly what it is. There's like white flakes of something. As you can see on the picture, it is beautiful. I mean, they look fancy on the outside. Yeah. Chocolate and almond. Oh, but, okay, that must be what it is, almond flakes. But when you look in the box, again, it's a bit of false advertising, or it's just, you know, they get your hopes up and then... Yeah, with some it's individual all in bags. And uh, inside, some crushed potato chips. <laughs> Very crushed yeah. up. And the chocolate looks like it's been melted and reconstituted a couple of times. <laughs> that's Crap so awesome. <laughs> so once you get it out, it doesn't look so fancy. Try to get one that's not just a crumb. Okay, this one's actually in decent yeah, shape, I guess. Like so. good. There's a chocolate yeah. nutted potato chip. So you can definitely <laughs> see we got like a Ruffles chip in there. You want that? With some drizzled mm -hmm. chocolate and sprinkled with some almond flakes or chips. Or mm, so it doesn't smell like potato chip. I thought it'd be way more like a Ruffles type of smell. Yeah, not really. It's more like a chocolate nut type smell. So. Should be good. I, right? <laughs> I am not looking. Potato good. chips, chocolate. What I don't like wrong? potato chips at all, really, unless they're spicy. So. <laughs> no, <it's weird. laughs> all right, well, let's give it a shot. Eat the Very interesting. No, not for me. The not chocolate is not good. The potato chip is also not good. Potato chip tastes like a good potato chip. I to guess me, you just don't like potato chips. But. To me, this tastes like greasy, cheap chocolate. You can taste all the oil on the fried potato chips. Yeah, the chocolate is great, but... No. It's not bad. Don't like it. <laughs> Gives it that solid thumbs down. How much was this? I don't even know. These probably cost too much money. They might have, but I just thought it was hilarious when I saw it that there were dessert potato chips. It is funny. When you're oh, oh. <laughs> So this is again very gimmicky, very much a kind of a a, a show item maybe. Yeah. I if you're eating chocolate potato chips <laughs> You have a problem anyway, because, <laughs> I mean, on the regular, of course, you can try on whatever, sure. There, it's a novelty item, but if Certainly you are sitting at home like, man, you know what I crave today? Some chocolate potato chips. Well, you need to reconsider your diet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I have to say that uh, if you eat, like, barbecue potato chips mm -hmm. with some chocolate ice cream, it is delicious. 
Absolutely delicious. So weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're going to differ. We're going to part ways on this one. Uh, I wouldn't even say buy this. So Look at the package, laugh at it, and walk away. <sighs> we're not going to differ that much because I would agree. Okay. Yeah, you know, unless you've got. Unless you're just very interested in trying chocolate potato chips, there's no reason to eat this. All right, well, there you go for that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thanks for watching another episode of Eat the Dock and Moss, where we tried some Japanese chocolate treats. And I gotta say, uh, I was I had a little bit higher hopes for the chocolate episode because uh, yeah. you think you can't go wrong with chocolate, and then you get two not so great things. Yeah, you know? there was a lot of options, yeah. but you know, we try to find the weird ones, so. <laughs> When you go for weird, you're not going to get great every time. That's true. There are a lot of really obviously yummy stuff we could have picked. We picked stuff that looks original, you know. We have some unusual things. So, not the best, uh, yummiest episode, but hey, I mean, chocolate is not the worst thing you can do. All right, so uh, stay tuned for next week when we're going to try some Japanese cheese. Mmm, cheese. Should be tasty. All right, <laughs> until next time. Sayonara. Sayonara.